Hey, I'm gonna tell y'all the one and only story that I ever had to hear when it comes to leaving children unattended with dogs. Um, Anthony Jerome from the Academy of Canine Education told me this in 2004. And uh, at the time I was 19, maybe 20. Um, I had no kids. Jake wasn't born, you know, for four or five years after this, but I never forgot it. And uh, so basically this family, you know, living the American dream, a couple kids, a house, a great family dog. Um, it was a St. Bernard in this case. Super chill, super laid back. Everybody loved the dog. Um, it was great with the kids. It was just a great, they thought they had a great situation. Okay, and they did. So one day the mother leaves the, the children unattended with the dog, right? The dog mauls one of the kids. And if y'all know anything about a St. Bernard, that's not, I mean, that is a mastiff with a fucking fur coat and a different paint job. Those bitches bite. So anyway, nobody could, uh, you know, nobody could believe it. Um, how could this happen? That dog was so great. All of this shit. Um, so anyway, they did, a, they had an autopsy performed on, on the dog, right? They found a piece of a pencil about that long, about two and a half inches, sharp end in the ear canal, smashed, right? The kid did that while the mom was gone for just a few seconds. The dog turns around and now the kid is, you know, definitely got physical scars, but probably mental too uh, for life. But, you know, that's just... I thought about that daily when I was raising my son. So anyway, y'all might want to think about that. Hey, and also, <clears throat> excuse me, if you have dogs on chains or tethers or whatever you want to freaking call them, and you have kids that are coming in and out of the house, and those dog, the, those, your chain spots are not in a pen, those chains and those cables or whatever you got them on can turn into a noose quickly. So you can't even leave your kids unattended if you have chain spots. Um, because if you do, the next thing you know, you'll be sitting there thinking, well, I only turn my back for a second and you'll be living a fucking nightmare. So anyway, I know those aren't fucking feel-good stories of the day, but that's some real shit, and I hope y'all think about it. Thanks.